All right, Dan Rayfield, are you ready to go? Are you ready to handicap a couple of bouts? You ready to do this? I am ready, Let's, sir. Uh, Let's begin it. with the Matchroom Boxing Show Saturday night. This is in New Orleans. This is Regis Progray, the WBC 140-pound champion from New Orleans. Homecoming fight for him against Danilito Zoria. Zoria is a replacement of about three weeks ago in this fight, a tough Puerto Rican fighter. Not a lot known about him, not a lot of noteworthy opponents or, or wins per se. So what kind of challenge is he going to uh, really uh, have for Progray in this one? We'll see. Progray is heavily favored, 16 to 1 on the bet U.S. line, so no real value there. Take a look, though, at the props for knockout and decision. 12-round fight over under 7.5. All right, Dan, give me more because Progray, definitely an entertaining fighter inside and outside the ring. Some thoughts, and then let's go on the record with some handicapping. Well, for Regis Progray, this is going to be his first title defense. Uh, he had previously won a world title. He lost that belt in a unification fight a few years ago against Josh Taylor by a very, very close decision uh, in Josh Taylor's home territory. Uh, you could certainly make the argument that he – it was. I don't think it was controversial so much, but you could certainly see a, a case to be made where Regis should have had uh, the victory on that night. But in any event, since then, he's won all of his fights. Uh, in November of this past year, he had a very impressive – uh, an exciting fight against uh, uh, Jose Zapata, who he stopped in the 11th round to win the vacant WBC title, which is what he will defend uh, against Zaria on Saturday. And after that, he was, uh, you know, looking for a promoter to sign with. He had uh, his the previous promotion company he was with had gone out of business, and then he became a free agent. And uh, he signed with Matchroom Boxing. They devised a, a plan for him. A th he has there for three fights. This is fight number one. He was supposed to fight an Australian undefeated fighter with Matchroom named Liam Paro. When the fight was announced, within days after the announcement, Paro was out because of an injury, and uh, Zaria came into the fight. Now, Zaria, in my mind, at least was a more, I won't say necessarily better than Paro, but a more, at least to those of us here in the United States anyway, more of a known commodity compared to Paro. Uh, Zaria's most notable fight he's had was a decision loss two fights ago against Arnold Barboza Jr., who's an undefeated contender, who was actually one of the names that was considered to fight before Paro got the fight, and uh, they couldn't come to an agreement. In any event, uh, Zuri is the guy. He's a Puerto Rican fighter. He's promoted by the great Puerto Rican uh, Hall of Famer, Miguel Cotto. And uh, this is his opportunity. I mean, if, if uh, he lost to Barbosa uh, and he got one very low-level win since then, now he's got himself a title shot. But the problem is he's going up against Regis Progre, who a lot of people could argue uh, you know, is at worst number two in this weight class. Some might call him number one uh, just in terms of what he's done. Uh, he's a tremendous fighter, exciting uh, confident at home, uh, I think, you know, in his prime at this moment in time. And I think uh, Danilito Zaria, you know, while I think he's a tough guy and I uh, haven't seen that Barbosa fight, I think Regis is highly motivated for this fight, very excited for what's in store for him, and wants to give a, a good account of himself in front of the hometown fans and his beloved New Orleans. Uh, and I think, uh, as I uh, have said before, uh, nothing against Danilito Zaria, but I think he's like a lamb being led to slaughter for this fight. And I like Regis Progre. I like him by a knockout, and I'm taking – you know me, TJ. I don't take a lot of overs. I'm taking him on the under. On, or I, I'm sorry, I don't take a lot of unders. Right. This one, uh, the over-under is 7.5. I think he gets it done inside that distance. All right, again, as we mentioned, this is the Smoothie King Arena. Get that sponsor name in right by the Superdome, right by the French Quarter in New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is kind of a, an interesting fight town. The very famous Muhammad Ali, Leon Spinks rematch was there. Dan Rayfield loves him some Sugar Ray Leonard, and so do I. That's Sugar Ray Leonard beating Roberto Duran in the No Moss fight, 1981. I don't want to admit that that was that long ago. So they're fighting in the arena right next to the Superdome for this matchroom main event. I covered, I think it's the same, I don't know if it's the same exact building, but I covered a fight there when it was a, I think it was called the New Orleans Arena at the time, back a long time ago, when Roy yep. Jones defended, when he was the prime time, prime number one pound for pound uh, champion, you know, a light heavyweight champion, and, and uh, he drew a good crowd there, he's not even from New Orleans, he's from, you know, Pensacola, not that far away, but, uh, you know, hopefully for Regis' sake, he brings in a nice crowd, uh, you know, that will support him. All right, so we go on the record. You and I both believe this is Progray winning. We both believe Progray by knockout, so we'll lock that in on our handicapping here. And again, we don't get tremendous uh, value. You are a little more brave. What a surprise on the over-under. You're going to go under here. I don't have a feel for how tough Zoria is going to be, and I think that 7.5 on the over-under is about right, somewhere around the 6th, 7th, or 8th round. So I am not fooling 
uh, with the over under at all. We'll lock you in at minus 125 for the under seven and a half rounds in this scheduled 12 round fight. Pro Gray, four straight knockouts since that defeat to Josh Taylor. You can maybe question some of the competition along the way, although the win over Zapata. Uh, to capture the vacant belt, tremendous fight, and he wore him down, bloodied him, and stopped him in the 11th round. And Regis has got punching power in both hands. Just one more time here for the yeah, potential he's, knockout. He's like 24 knockouts and 28 wins. He's he's a good puncher, and it's not like he's fought nobody. He's even the even let's say the B-level contenders he has faced, he's pretty much handled them easily. And uh, again, Zaria has never been stopped before. The one loss was by a decision, but I think that. Uh, he's stepping up even, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, I respect Barbosa. I think he's an excellent contender and I think he's a very good fighter, but I still think that Regis is a, is a bit better at this moment in time, at least in terms of punching power. And, uh, you know, Zaria, I think he's in a lot of trouble. And I'm going to tell you another thing about, about a Regis program. He knows there's big things on the horizon for him. He, sure. He's highly motivated. I mean, he's a, is as highly motivated as a fighter you'll ever uh, meet or talk to. And, and I'm not saying Zaria is not, uh, motivated also this is a great opportunity for him to become a world champion and obviously that's uh, what every boxer dreams about uh, and this is his first opportunity to do that but I just think uh, Regis Progre this is uh, you know he's he's fighting it at, at a different level right now and the Zapata fight is sort of I think what showed people uh, that Zapata is not an easy out for anybody he's given tough fights to pretty much everybody he's ever faced and even though it went into the 11th round, there was never a doubt in anybody's mind. I don't think that Regis is winning that fight all the way. And, and like you said, breaking him down and finally got him out of there. And uh, I think that's what's happening on Saturday, but just in a, in a more short order. All right. Again, uh, we see a couple of people. Chinchilla was weighing in again. Thank you for joining us live here with thoughts on Progre and Zoria. Again, it's the first of a three fight deal for Progre with Matchroom Boxing, where he's hoping for a unification bout either in the next fight or certainly by the third fight. So that's what is riding on this one for Saturday night in the Big Easy in New Orleans for Regis Progre and Dan and I both like the KO in this one.